Back in 1999, my old friend David Walliams and Matt Lucas launched Rock Profile, featuring stars such as Elton John, George Michael, Kylie Minogue, U2 and Tom Jones. And now, over 20 years later, they're back. Yes. Here's the setup. All the biggest music stars of today are getting together to record the new comic relief single. It's a brand new version of The Greatest Love of All. <laughs> and Vernon Kay is backstage oh, wow. at the recording studio talking exclusively to all the stars. <laughs> Now, we're really lucky because we have a global megastar in our midst. Let's welcome Adele. Hello. Why is it important for you to be on this charity record? Well, I've always loved the song, The Greatest Love of All. You know, I grew up listening to it. I used to sing it in the shower when I was washing my bits. Standard! Read all about it. Get your evening standard. Are you all right? Yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah, it's a classic, isn't it? I mean, it's not as good as one of mine, but people seem to like it. Get your fresh fish here! Yeah? Three pound your addict, two pound your skate. And of course, it's all for charity. All aboard! Next stop, Acne Dog Trek. Can you turn Michael's sound down in my ears, please? Can you turn Alfie's sound down in, in my ears? You'll probably want to turn it down for your ears as well. Thank you. Welcome, Michael Ball and Alfie Ball. Watch out, ladies. Ball and bow are in the building. <laughs> bow and ball. Ball and bow. Difficult to get through the door this morning with all the groupies. The ballettes, I call them. You mean the ball bells? At one point, I thought my clothes were going to get ripped off. Well, if she'd been quicker on that Zimmer frame, I'm the sexy one, then. My fans are not as old as his. All of yours are over 80, dear. Not so. I copped off with one the other day. She still had her own teeth. Well, two. It is I, the Gaga, entering the studio. Please don't treat me any differently as you would any other Oscar-nominated superstar. Lady Gaga, we are thrilled that you are here with us today. Hush now, please. No titles. Just Gaga. Are you excited to be supporting Comic Relief? Very much so. But today is not about Gaga or all the other legendary superstars on this record whose names I can't remember. No, of course. Lady Gaga's The Greatest Love of All, featuring Lady Gaga, is not about Lady Gaga. I don't think it's called that. Well, one thing that we were really impressed with was the fact that today you've insisted on no fuss. Well, that's why I only flew over a core staff of 80 people. I mean, it's literally just me, my manager, my security guard, my stylist, my chef, my pastry chef, although I, I am actually allergic to pastry, Bradley Cooper, Bradley Walsh, my hairdresser, his hairdresser, my dog, and my dog's dog. It's not about Gaga. All the way from the United States of America, I'm now joined by one of rap's biggest artists. P to the O to the stit to the M to the alone. Okay. Post Malone, PM, not AM, PM, nighttime. Are you finished? Yeah. Okay. Tell us, why do you want to be on this Comet Relief single? I don't give a flying F about this whack track. I'm here because I want to meet Mr. Vernon K. What, me? V to the E to the Ernan to the K to the A to the Y. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you're the man. Well, I don't know what to say. You got a daytime game show format. Ben Shepard isn't available. Gino DeCampo said no, and you can't afford Steve Mulhern. This is your dude. Well, I did turn down the back off. Oh, that's too bad. That ball guy sucks. Hello. Welcome to the great British Baker Wolf. Man, I'm so stoked about meeting you. I got the box set of every season of Family's Fortune on Blu-ray. That show is rad. I must have seen it like a hundred times. Everyone I know watches it. It's like an East Coast rap thing. Biggie loved you, man. Biggie Smalls. Biggie would have died for you if he wasn't already dead. Tupac thought you were a tosser. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. I'm now joined by one of the world's hottest stars, Miley Cyrus. I really am. You look incredible. I know. I'm smoking hot. What's it like being an international sex symbol? If you got it, flaunt it. Well, the world first got to know you as the sweet little girl next door, Hannah Montana, but also your dad is 90s country and western singer, Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, but as you can see, I ain't daddy's girl no more. Where's my daddy's girl? Oh, God. Yeehaw! Billy Ray 
Cyrus, what are you doing here? Well, wherever my daughter goes, I go too. Now come on, everybody. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. It. Dad, why did you come? Well, I got to support my little girl and everything she's doing. Yeehaw! I slapped my thigh with a blueberry pie. Folk have only heard of her because of her superstar daddy. So what song are we singing today? Is it my number one hit single, Achy Freaky Heart, or my number one hit single, Achy Freaky Heart? We're actually doing the greatest love of all, Dad. That old tune ain't no Achy Breaky. We've been through this. I don't need you to turn up every time I'm doing something. I'm just trying to talk to Miley. Listen, little lady, you may be pretty, but don't be interrupted when a man's talking. Dad, you gotta stop this. People are gonna be thinking you're one rib short of a barbecue. I'm gonna start telling folk you're not my dad. Well, you can tell the world you never was my girl. You can burn my clothes up when I'm gone. You can tell your friends what a fool I've been and laugh and joke about me on the phone. But don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand everybody. Because if you tell my heart... I'm back with Billie Eilish. How does it feel to be the youngest artist performing on this charity single? Billie? Billie? Oh, can't you see I'm on TikTok? Are you excited to be working with Comic Relief? Do you want to do this another time? Can't you see I'm on Mum's Net? I can come back a little bit later if we want. Oh, dude, I'm on the Daily Telegraph app posting a comment about Michael Gove. If I could just have your attention off your phone for just... Minutes. Minutes, please. Thank you. There's someone I'd like to introduce you to. He's one of the world's biggest artists. He's in the building. He just wants to pop in and say hello. Bieber! It's not Justin Bieber. Harry Styles! Harry, 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 Harry! <laughs> it's Lewis Capaldi! Whoa. Hey, fun dubby dozy. Fun dubby double dozy. All right, Billy, how you doing, fella? Lewis, thanks for joining us. No bother, pal. It's just nice to get out the hoose. There's a moose loose about this hoose. Hey, you gotta laugh, eh? Hey, Billy? You gotta laugh. This guy is so cringe. Uh, are you both fans of each other? Oh, I love her. I can't get enough of her. Look at her, she's beautiful, even if she does have snotty hair. <laughs> Sorry, have you washed? Oh, yeah, I had the bath last year. Billy, are you a fan of Lewis? Oh, the Inspector Moore spinoff, starring Kevin Waitley and Lawrence Parks, never missed an episode. No, Lewis Capaldi. Is he a competition winner? I did say no meeting grades. You probably don't know what I'm talking about because in America we call these headphones and this a microphone. I'm back with Post Malone. So, Post, you're world famous for having so many tattoos. But is it true that every tattoo tells a different story? Yeah, I like to get a tattoo to celebrate a special moment in my life. Uh, this one I got when I was 11 and I passed my cycling proficiency test. Oh, I've not done mine, is it hard? Uh, it's pretty intense for an on. I had to have a tug on a doobie before I took it. This one I got when I learned to tie my shoelaces all by myself without any help from a grown-up. On my knuckles, I have left and right. And, and, the and uh, this one says tattoo to commemorate the first time I got a tattoo. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. You can see that? I can see it. It's quite small. No, I can definitely see it. I can smell it too. Is it me, or do you guys always seem to have a new album out? Well, we like to give the fans what they want, Vernon. Yeah, so we always start the year with a Valentine's Day album. Then we do a Mother's Day album. Soppy songs. Then for Easter, we do an album of chocolate-themed songs. Are there many of those? Oh, you'd be surprised, Vernon. If, if you like, like a lot of chocolate, chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. And then it's time for our Father's Day album. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Cool, Daddy, 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 Daddy Daddy cool. Then we always do an album for Pancake Day. Are there many songs about pancakes? Not one, but that doesn't stop us burning. And then, of course, it's time for the Ball and Bow Christmas album. Bow and Bow. Little, little donkey, little donkey, on a dusty road. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And then we do a very calm soothing version of Silent Night. Silent Night, Holy Night. Do you know what? I'd love one of those for me, Mum. We've got one right here. <laughs> oh, that's very kind. Thank you very much. I love that.
That'll be nine ninety nine. Cash or card? Is there something wrong with the headphones? I can't hear a thing. Lady Gaga, one thing you are famous for is your amazing sense of style and outlandish fashion. Oh, hush now, am I? Yeah, of course. One of the outfits that really hit the headlines was the dress completely made out of meat. Oh, that was awful. No, it was brilliant. No, it was awful. It was made from awful. Oh, but it must have been really expensive making a dress completely out of meat. Well, originally we were going to use meat from the Tesco finest range, but in the end we just went to Aldi. Do you guys have Aldi here? You have Aldi? Well, I went to Aldi just before closing, and I bought all the stuff that was on the turn, you know, a little bit furry. What happened to the meat afterwards? I put it all in a casserole and gave it to Elton. Well, look at him. And we're hoping to raise a lot of money for charity with this single. How proud of that are you? Well, it'd be wonderful to raise so much money for charity. I hope that one day we can all live in a world where every man, woman, and child can wear a dress made of cheese. Is that from Aldi? Of course. Oh, Adele, <laughs> I've got to say, I've just seen you in the studio, <laughs> and that was absolutely spitingly. I know, it's my beautiful voice, in it? Yeah, yeah, it makes myself cry, you know. Yeah, it gets me every time. Are you all right? No, fine, just a bit emotional, you know. It's my best friend, Alan Carr, here. Can my best friend, Alan Carr, fit in while I get my makeup redone? Beans, egg and chips! Egg, beans and chips! Well, unfortunately, Alan isn't here today, but we do have a very special someone. Someone who, who really inspired you and motivated you to become the singer, the goddess that you are today. Hey. It's your old music teacher! Hello! Oh! Me teacher! Oh, me teacher! Yes! You teach me! You done the teaching! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> right, off you go. Oh, come on. It's not about you. Come on, you Spurs! Referee! Now, Adele, we're really lucky that you're here today because you were supposed to be forming all those concerts in Las Vegas. Was I? I never knew about that. Yeah, the ones that got cancelled. Oh, yeah, I read about that on the news. I didn't sing a note, but you can still buy something from the gift shop. Get your Adele T-shirts, 500 pounds. Well, they came for one reason and one reason only, to make a song for you. And I'm delighted to say that this is the global premiere of a song that is quite literally saving lives as I speak. This is the greatest love of all. This is a recording studio. This is where we make hit records, so... I've been top 70 in Liechtenstein. Is that a microphone? <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> is Vernon going to produce the track? Hello? Oh, no, it's a different song, isn't it? It's all right. Everybody's searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. I've never found anyone if it feel my need. You got any iron brew? A lonely place to be And so I learned to depend on me I decided long ago Never to walk in anyone's shadow If I fail, if I succeed At least I'll live as I believe No matter what they take from me They can't take away my dignity because the greatest uh -huh, love of all is happening to me. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. I found the greatest love of all inside of me. And if by chance that says.
then scroll back for yellow, green, brown, blue, pink and black. Snooker, low pay, that's our way. We're all snooker, low pay. Can I go now? In the end, Comet Relief decided not to release the single, as it was to all the musicians <laughs> who took part in that recording. And a special shout-out to David Williams and Matt Lucas. Seriously, guys, if music be the food of love, you've given us all indigestion.